It's burning hot, we on fire Should we take it off, if it get too hot Up in this spot, we on fire Alright, the chapter is Ozone Depletion, chapter 25. And the five objectives I'm going to choose is, number one, is what ozone is and how ozone is formed and destroyed in the stratosphere. Number two is what so-called ozone shield is and why is it important. And number three is why is the environmental effects of the ozone depletion are in options are available to minimize ozone depletion. And the last one is why is international cooperation, including the economic aid, blah, 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 elimination of emissions of ozone depletion chemicals to the atmosphere. Now, as you can see, the ozone has a very big hole in it, and we need to do something. That's what my project's about. Done. Oh, hello, kid. Today I'm going to talk about chapter 25, ozone depletion. Hey, you! Did you know that due to the current state of ozone depletion in our society, you have you are at high risk of skin cancer and you can die because of the UV radiation up there? No way! Can you guys tell me about ozone depletion because my project is due today? Well, ozone depletion is a very big problem. Isn't it a problem? It's a huge problem, especially in India. Those stupid taxi cab drivers and those autos keep coming up. Wait decades for an answer. With the aid of Earth-watching satellites and ever-improving computer climate models, scientists hope to unravel the puzzle of Arctic ozone before it becomes a problem. After all, one planetary ozone hole is more than enough. This story was written by Patrick Berry and Tony Phillips and read by Tony Phillips. It's presented by Science at NASA and the Go! No, I'm kidding! Go! Hola! Oh god! Yo soy de Mexico! Uh, the Montreal Protocol! Uh, what the hell? Well, that can be like a state flower. Like the country flower. Keep talking! Okay, the Montreal Protocol, we are attempting to unify the countries of the world in attempting to um, develop a policy on um, ozone depletion so we can prevent... Keep going, sorry, go. Oh, um, yeah. oh yeah, okay, we have a lot of disagreement within our council, but we are attempting to certify the Montreal Protocol so that we can um, save the world. Thank you. What's a CFC? Well, Vikram, let me summar summarize chapter 25 really quickly for you. First of all, there's UVA radiation, which causes some damage to living cells, but it's not affected by stratosphere O3. This is transmitted to the Earth. UVB radiation, this is, causes the ozone problem, and this causes the depletion of O3, which leads to significant increase in UVB reaching Earth, which is harmful. And also there's UVC, which is the shortest wavelength. Most energetic UV radiation absorbs strongly into the atmosphere, can dissociate O2 into individual O atoms that combine with other O2 atoms to produce O3. Negligible UVC radiation hits the surface, though. An adoption unit, unit, you may ask, which is summarized as DH, that's one parts per billion O3. Next. You may find such CFCs which cause ozone depletion in such things as air conditioning, foams, aerosols, refrigerators, did I say refrigerator, and solvents. But now this is not the case anymore because we have progressed since then. Hmm, let me continue. Oh yes, the Antarctic ozone hole. There are many problems in this area. First of all, there's polar stratospheric clouds, which form during polar winters and circulate into the poles, which is known as the Antarctic Polar Vortex, which circles counterclockwise around the southern hemisphere. Whoa! This is how, this is a summary of how it's done. First, CFCs go into the atmosphere, create the clouds, and when it hits the sunlight, the CL, the chlorine is taken off, somewhere and it bonds to the O3 and when that happens the Cl bonds to the O3 and creates ClO which releases oxygen and destroys the ozone and sunlight comes through okay not done here 
And you may wonder about the future of ozone depletion. Well, as you know, there has been such things that Sam has talked about, such as the Montreal Protocol. There's also things such as hydrofluorocarbons and hydrochlorofluorocarbons, which are an expensive but safe alternative because they break down in the lower atmospheres and keep the ozone depletion at a bare minimum. And that, Vikram, is what CFCs and ozone depletion is all about. Oh no, it's hot out here! And I smell really bad! Oh, my eyes! Ah! But that's not the only damage CFCs create. They deplete the ozone layer and the sun comes down and rains on me with UV radiation. Ah! <laughs> radiation! And not the good kind that's allowed, but bad kind. Right Guard Extreme is a good safe way to combat stinkiness. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Wow, you smell really good today. Gee, thank you, Mr. Sun. <laughs> One. Gee, thank you, Mr. Sun. Yeah, for sure, dog. See? No harm for radiation. Oh, look, my shoe's untied. Let me kneel down and tie it behind this exhaust pipe. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing, you ignorant human? <laughs> what are you doing, you ignorant human being? What up, dog? I'm carelessly releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. Vroom, vroom. Oh look, it's Dr. Niue. Hey, kids! And when pollutants like CFC and CO2 are released into the atmosphere, it bonds to the ozone molecules and breaks down the ozone layer. Yeah, Dr. Niue, and did you also know that one CFC molecule is enough to break down 100,000 ozone molecules? Really? I didn't know that. Yes! W Wait, why yes. did he say I didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, because I holla! <laughs> okay, okay. This is a nice, safe alternative to combat stinkiness. Mmm, I smell good now, and it's protecting the ozone layer because there's no CFCs. Is that it? <laughs> you have me come That's up all, and be folks. Like, Whoa, you oh, smell yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, you smell good. And then I'll yeah, and I'll push you behind. You're like, hey, what's up, dude? Whoa, you smell good today, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You. <laughs> oh. Gee, thank you, Mr. Sun. Yeah, for sure, dog. See, no radiation. What are you doing, you ignorant human being? I'm releasing CO2 to <laughs> Mister, what are you Hey, mister, what are you- No, no, it's What are you doing, you ignorant human being? <laughs> yeah, him, yeah, good, good, good. I'm carelessly releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. Vroom, vroom! I was proud. <laughs> no, we're not using it.